Hello, it's raining. Good thing I got the right umbrella. Bank, the sands. Could use some sand right now. All right, let's do this. High ceilings, low floors, plenty of acreage. All right, let's get to the real stuff. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to my ninth cousin. <laughs> How do I know? Because when I was growing up, every time Bing Crosby came on the radio, my, my mother would say, you know, he's your ninth cousin. What is, it? first of all, that is so distant as to be ridiculous. And second of all, Mom, how do you know that Bing Crosby is my ninth? Well, because in the Jewett family book, you know, and here it is, man, her maiden name, and you look through this giant book of 50 million people. Yeah, well, I'm also, you know, he's my ninth cousin. Guess who's my eighth cousin? Joe the janitor. <laughs> so I always joke, so now I tell my daughter, I say, you know, Bing Crosby was your 10th cousin. <laughs> But this is coming home with me, if only for the cover. No, it wasn't like that. No, no, no. My folks were cool. Well, my dad was a church musician, so the choirs happened because that was just, I mean, he was conducting and I think he was really, he was really happy that I could sing and that I enjoyed it. But, um, you know, when I started doing jazz stuff, he was just, he was worried. He had all, you know, he, he was not allowed to learn how to dance because of, you know, religious stuff, right? So when I was going out to jazz clubs, oh, Kurt, uh, I, I'm happy that you're having a, a good experience, but uh, um, there, there aren't prostitutes uh, at, the, at the club, are there? No, Dad, no. We're, we're, there, there aren't gangsters at, at the club. I'm like, Pop, what are you, this is like 1930s stuff that you're, this is like from a movie. No, Dad, this got <laughs> Gangsters, wow. Poor guy. You know, man, they were just, they were just concerned like you, like you are for your kid. Oh, my kid, what, what happened to my kid? He was in graduate school just now and now he's working on the back of a moving truck and tending bar and he's living in a hundred dollar room. <laughs> you can't blame him for being a little, Concerned. 